Not trailing for one second of a game is a good key to success. That was the formula day for the Marquette Golden Eagles as they took down the Xavier Musketeers 83-61 on National Marquette Day. I'm just so proud of our team. and. Uh, I mean, we, we really deserve this one because, I mean, we've been working so hard. And to see the fruit of our labor really just be putting into work is, uh, I mean, it's great. It's a blessing. Marquette fans and basketball alumni alike piled into the Bradley Center to help push their team to victory. And the Golden Eagles responded early despite going with a different lineup for the first time since Big East play began. With help from four technical free throws and a pair of three-pointers from Andrew Rousey, the home squad put pressure on Xavier in the early going with a 19-2 lead. The Golden Eagles would continue to put the pressure on in the ensuing minutes and their lead would grow to as much as 21 in the opening period, despite just 40% shooting and 5 of 19 from beyond the three-point arc. The Musketeers' 10 first-half turnovers would create 11 Marquette points and the Golden Eagles would take a 42-30 lead into the locker room. The second half was controlled by the youngest player on the court, Marquette freshman guard Marcus Howard, who knocked down a Marquette record nine three-pointers en route to a career-high 34 points. The Golden Eagles would hold Xavier to just 31 second half points and grab their first win over the Musketeers in the Steve Wojciechowski era. It's one game at a time. And, you know, our guys should feel good about a lot of things we did. And we should learn about those things and try to take them as we move forward. The Marquette Golden Eagles are now 16 and 10 on the season. They will return here to the Al McGuire Court on Tuesday night as they take on the St. John's Red Storm at 7 p.m. Reporting from the BMO Harris Bradley Center on National Marquette Day, I'm Connor Bash, Marquette Wire Sports.